Thanks Gwen Stefani, thanks Drew Barrymore, thanks Meg Ryan. I could go down the list of all of the people that I feel like a personal eyebrow victim of. Hi, Mal Pals and New Pals, and happy 15-ish minute Friday. Today's video is inspired by really one of my recent videos, which I will have linked below. It was me trying all new products. Well, these are literally, it hit me the other day when I was applying my makeup. These are five products, not even like, this isn't even curated. These are five products, okay? Because I try to talk about five things on Fridays. These are five products that I have implemented into my daily routine and seem to reach for constantly without thought. Like, it's just like I'm grabbing them, not because they're on my desk, but I have plenty of stuff on my desk. Don't have that. But these are things that I want to use and I'm like mad at myself that I'm not using other products because it's getting kind of like, okay, you're using this too much, you're getting a little boring. So I thought I would share with you guys the five products that have just taken over my life since trying them and all five are, what is the word? New, new products, new launches. Let's start out with the first one. I can't, I can't stop. Okay, I can't stop, can't stop since it popped. You know what I'm saying? That sounds disgusting. I don't even like Pringles. I threw them up one time on the way home from visiting family for Christmas because I ate them in the car. I ate Pringles in the car with Santa's coal gum and it turned my puke black. And I've never touched a Pringle since, which my body is, I'm pretty sure, thankful for that for many reasons. Anyway, moving on. The first product is the M Cosmetics So Soft Bronzer in the shade Summer. I have not stopped using this. I love these So Soft bronzers, contours, and blushes so much. It's like just getting absolutely ridiculous. I love cream bronzer and I have other ones that I love. Like I love the Patrick Ta Contour, my Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate, but there's just something about this that keeps me coming back. I feel like it's because it gives me like a nice glow, but it also gives me a bronze, but it also has a little more coverage. So I can really use a lot less product and, and you know, get through my makeup routine a little quicker, but summer is the perfect shade for me when I am self-tanned like today and when I'm not self-tanned and I'm super pale. It's so gorgeous. I love using it also to kind of contour underneath my eyebrows and all that good stuff. I showed you guys how I've been recently been doing that uh, to just kind of give myself a little underpainting eye lift. I did that in my birthday makeup video, which I will link below if you want to see that. But I'm combining these, so I know it's like five products. I'm combining these as one product because it's a one-two punch, okay? It's how I lie to myself saying this is not six products. But the So Soft Blushes, today I chose to wear the shade Bitten just because it's fall. I'm a little bronzed right now, but I still wanted like a fall vibe, and Bitten is just like that perfect berry rose, and I did, I got it. I accidentally dented it, but it's just this perfect like berry rose shade that's so gorgeous. It looks like you got sun, but like in the fall, I really love the shade. I love all the shades. That's why you guys have been seeing me tirelessly use them in every single video of mine. I'm sorry, but I'm also not sorry because they're just so freaking stunning. They're just like the bronzers and contours. They're super, super pigmented and creamy and rich. Like if I, I would say they're like the gelato formula of cream bronzers and blushes and contours. There's just, oh my God, they're so freaking amazing. Oh, moving on. The next thing is also something that I just, I've, I use it multiple ways, like nearly every single day, even when I'm not wearing makeup. And that is the Jones Road Miracle Balm and O Natural. Now I am not quite sure when this launched. I say this is all new launches, but technically this is kind of just new to me. I will look that up. So I hope I'm not like, anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Come for me but I love it so much. I use it as like an underpainting highlight and I also use it to kind of moisturize underneath my eyes if I'm like dry there. I use it as a lip balm. I love it as a highlight on its own or underneath other highlights. Like today I layered it with another highlight, but as you could see on its own, it just gives you the most like non-shimmer natural glow and it stays like that all, 
all day. It looks beautiful under makeup, over makeup. And as you can see, like I applied it today over my foundation, but under my concealer and it does not break up formulas or other products or powders. I could right now apply more over the powder that I have on my face. I just feel like that would be like a lot and I'm, I'm liking the glow that I have on right now. It is so, the formula is just so incredible. I, I, I don't know and it smells very just like natural and I like that. I like that like natural food store smell and that's kind of that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from it but it's so moisturizing and so beautiful. It doesn't look greasy like uh, this doesn't look greasy. I didn't, I'm not saying that, but on the highlighting shade, look how gross this looks. The highlighting shade on the Tom Ford shade and illuminate definitely has some shimmer in it. I'll compare it. Whereas the, you can see the glow on my fingers. So this is Tom Ford shade and illuminate, and this is the Jones road. Oh, natural. This will give you just like a crazy crazy glow and it doesn't slide around on the face but sometimes if you apply too much of the highlight it can disturb product and your hair will kind of get stuck in it sometimes not in like i'm making it sound bad i love this part of the shade and illuminate but what i do love about the O natural the miracle balm and uh, i also have it in dusky rose dusty rose I'm going blank and it's not in front of me, so here we are. But your hair doesn't get stuck in it. So it can be, you know, on your face and moisturizing your face without your hair getting stuck in it whatsoever. This is like a miracle. There is something just very special about this. I'm gonna say this probably about all these products because it's true. Because there are, it's very rare that a new launch happens and products become like a part of my makeup routine because I want them to, you know? I don't, I don't know how to explain it right now, but it's like new products will launch, right? And then it's like you use them for a while and you love them and then you like try something else and you're like, oh wow, and then you kind of forget about the other stuff. This is stuff I have not forgotten about. I don't know, like Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Foundation when that launched, I haven't forgotten about that. Um, the M Cosmetics uh, Pick Me Up Mascara, since that launched, I haven't forgotten about it and I use it all the time and Chewy is He's gagging. Honey, look at all the hair he has. Yeah? Okay, next is the Laura Mercier Celestial Light, no, sorry, Light Catcher Powder in the shade Celestial Light. There are other shades of this. I love this powder because I love to bake, but I don't necessarily always want my whole face mattified, but sometimes I need all of my foundation set. Just, you know, you have that feeling of like, I need to really set my foundation today, whatever. It's like that, but then I will powder the rest of my face. And uh, what I love about it is it can be built up. It's beautiful as a setting powder. It's not too shimmery. It gives the face an all over glow. So I will bake and then apply the powder all over the rest of my face. And I'll show you, you can build this up. And I do really like the Laura Mercier powder brush with this because it just kind of glides over the face and you can build this up and it not look crazy. It just gives your face a glow from within. Seriously, for real, I feel like we say that all the time, but this really does. Uh, for a powder product, this gives you such a beautiful glow. It doesn't give you like a highlight, but if you want, you can kind of spritz your brush with like Fix Plus or your setting spray or whatever, and then like with a fan brush and make a highlight and that looks beautiful and like super seamless. And now I have a fuzz in my nose and that tickled so bad. I love this powder for my dry skin. When I just need to set my entire face without looking too powdery, there is a fuzz that is like up my nose. Got it. Like I said, they have other shades. This is great with my skin when I am self tanned and when I'm not. Highly suggest you try this as an all over setting powder. I don't use it under my eyes just because my eyes can end up looking a little crepey if I use this solely to set, but if I set with another powder and then apply this over, it gives my under eyes a hydrated look. So <laughs> this powder will be an everyday powder now for like from now on. And I will try to reach for other things to not get boring, but I love finding products that I can rely on and know that I can rely on. And I can't believe all of these new launches have kind of become those things. A brow product. And here's the thing, if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I love my arch brow. Caution, 
pencil, hourglass. Hourglass? No. I think that my brain just left through my ear. Hourglass Arch Brow, not Caution. That's their mascara, which I love, which was another new release when that released. I haven't stopped buying that mascara. The Arch Brow in Platinum Blonde plus my M Cosmetics Flexi Brow in Clear. You will see that in like every single one of my info boxes. And I also love the Elf uh, Gen Atkin Pomade. So I rarely, rarely ever use a different brow gel or brow combo. But since Patrick Tall <laughs> released his major brow lamination gel, I can't stop because I have very, very thin, fine brows. I grew up in the 90s and we were all waxing them and plucking them to look like just, you know, tadpoles and just straight lines. Thanks Gwen Stefani, thanks Drew Barrymore, thanks Meg Ryan. I could go down the list of all of the people that I feel like a personal eyebrow victim of. Love, love them, but it's all their fault that everyone in their 30s has no eyebrows. And mine won't grow back. All these people that are like, oh, grow your eyebrows back. Mine literally won't. I don't touch them. Like I kind of just clean up the edges, the ends, but they don't grow back right here. So anyway, <laughs> I love this because you can use the uh, paddle side to really kind of like lay the hair flat to your skin. But the other side is just like perfectly contoured to fit your facial structure, let's focus. So hopefully you guys can see the little teeth. These grab the hairs so well, and the product is like, it feels like a glue, but it doesn't feel like that once it's dried down. And uh, it's just, I don't know, it's wild how it really kind of makes you look like you have more brow hairs, but you don't. But then uh, it just like keeps them in place insanely it's it's crazy especially like you know when you have that one eyebrow hair or a couple eyebrow hairs that you don't want to pluck because th they're giving you volume but they're like sticking straight out that's what this is perfect for the paddle side you can kind of like lay it down it's kind of it kind of reminds me of like a better version of hairspray and an eyebrow like spoolie I used to do that in high school and like spray it and do that. This is just, this will never leave my side. I will always have this. I like to use this when I don't have a brow pencil in my eyebrows. You know what I'm trying to say. When I'm not wearing makeup and I can just quickly like throw this through my eyebrows and it does give me a like a more eyebrow effect. I don't know, it's insane. And it, it, what Patrick Ta, this is, oh, did the sun just go down? So many things are happening. Incredible, especially if you have wily hairs, thin eyebrows. I can't imagine how gorgeous this would be to play with if you actually had eyebrows. The product that I feel like I rarely come across a mascara that when a new mascara is launched, I'm like, I have to wear this mascara constantly. It's very hard for me to find a mascara that doesn't burn my eyes. I have very sensitive eyes. I have hooded lids, so I get smudging and flaking and so it, it takes a lot for me to repurchase a mascara, constantly wear a mascara, and know that I can rely on it. Ugh, Selena Gomez, girl, you killed it. And I don't know if it's because she has like kind of hooded lids, you know, maybe she really, really perfected this formula for that. But the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Mascara is, my stomach's growling, excuse you, okay? Calm down. You get like a couple more hours, power through. <sighs> She just really gets on my nerves. Anyway, Selena Gomez, thank you so much for creating this mascara. It is like so insane. You guys are seeing me apply it and this, this is one coat. And I also applied this in my first impressions video. And when I'm wearing it, I get questions if I have falsies on. No, it's this mascara. It's like a moussey rich formula that doesn't smudge. It doesn't flake. It lasts all day. It comes off easily, but it stays on like forever. Of course, it's not waterproof, but it is humidity proof, okay? So if you are looking for a mascara that's gonna really give you a nice volume and length, that's one thing that I love about this, is I can build it up, build it up, and like get my spider lashes that I love so much and it not flake. Uh, there are some formulas that I like and then you build it up and you're like, oh man, I got some flaking, you know, not this. So if you like spider lashes, you can build it up to some fun stuff or you can wear this and it really kind of lengthens and separates. Today, we have three coats on 
and I love it. My eyelashes are just kind of wily recently. I don't know if I'm sleeping weird. You know, sometimes you can get in like a sleep pattern where you're like smashing your eyeballs or something. Maybe that's what's going on. I don't know, but I love this mascara. No smudging, no flaking, no eye burning, and no like weird scent. And I love how chunky the packaging is. And it's like that matte velvet feel. Anyway, thank you so much, Selena. Loving that for my life. Just highly impressed with these new releases. What a, what a good, good group of products, honestly. I am like thankful for every one of them because I feel like they've kind of each filled in a gap of an area in makeup that I didn't realize that I need filled. You know what I mean? Like that, like that makeup shaped hole. You're like, oh, I didn't know that I needed that in a product. I didn't know I needed Patrick Ta's uh, eyebrow glue in my life, but I did, so. That's all I'm saying. Please like, subscribe, and turn on all your notifications. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and don't forget you can follow me on Instagram at I'm Mallory Brook and I will see you guys in the next video. I know my schedule has been a little crazy lately, but we're doing it. We're powering through and we're, we're getting things done over here. So, but you know what feels good? Talking without my braces, cutting up my mouth. And if you would like to see that detailed journey, video, I will link that below as well. Let us know in the comments below, have you, what new releases have like changed your life this year? It doesn't even have to be recent. Like, let us know. What's a new release that like stuck with you? You know? Oh, I think we would all love to know that. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. All right.